Good day, my name is J. Mark Lopez Velio and this is the assigned topic that I'm going to discuss. In this presentation, I'm going to explain various light phenomena such as halos, sand dogs, primary rainbows, secondary rainbows, and supernumerary bows. First, let's talk about light phenomena. So, what are light phenomena? These are any observable events from the result of interaction of light and matter. Common light or optical phenomena are often due to the interaction of light from the sun or moon with the atmosphere, clouds, water, dust, and other particulates. Now let's talk about halos. Halo, which is also called gloriole, ice bow, or nimbus, is a light phenomenon that happens when light shines through clouds that are composed of ice crystals. Light refracts a pen passing through the ice crystals and also reflects a pen hitting the crystal's faces. These events cause the formation of the bright ring around the sun or moon. Halo is usually bright white ring but may also have colors due to the dispersion of light upon striking the ice crystals. So, I have here an example of a halo. It has a bright ring on around the sun. Now, let's talk about sand dogs. Sand dogs happen due to the refraction of light upon hitting the small crystals that make up Sirius or Sirius stratus clouds. These crystals are hexagonal in shape with faces almost horizontal upon drifting. These cause the formation of spots of light on either side of the sun or the moon when light strikes them at a minimum angle of 22 degrees. Since red light is the least refracted compared to blue, this makes the inner edge of a sun dog to be red hued. So, I have also here a picture of a sand dog. So, unlike halo, nga bright ring lang siya around the sun, ang sand dog is na shy spot on either side of the sun. And now, let's talk about rainbow. So, first I'm going to tell what is a rainbow. So, a rainbow is a light phenomenon formed from the combination of several light properties like refraction, reflection, and dispersion. Rainbows are usually seen after rainfall because they are formed when light strikes the scattered raindrops in the atmosphere. And now, primary rainbow. Primary rainbow are distinguished from other rainbows by its angular radius, color order, and brightness. The primary rainbow forms between about 40 degrees and 42 degrees from the anti-solar point. The light path involves refraction and a single reflection inside the water droplet. If the droplet of water are large, 1 millimeter or more in diameter, red, green, and violet are bright but there is a little blue. Later on, I will show pictures of primary rainbow. Now, let's talk about secondary rainbow. Secondary rainbow is about 10 degrees further out from the anti-solar point than the primary bow. Secondary rainbow is about twice as wide and has its color reversed. So, unlike primary rainbow, Secondary rainbow has its color reverse, so kabalik na rin siya. And also, sa secondary rainbow, mas dako kaysa kay primary bow. Occasionally, a secondary bow may be observed which is conser considerably less intense than the primary bow and has its color sequence reversed. The secondary rainbow has an angular radius of about 50 degrees and hence it is seen outside of the primary bow. So, makita lang ang secondary rainbow outside ni primary bow. 
this bow result from the light that has undergone two internal reflections within the water drop. Higher order rainbows resulting from three or more internal reflections are exceedingly weak and hence are rarely, rarely observed. Now I have here an illustration and a real life picture of primary rainbow and secondary rainbow. So as we can see, primary rainbow kay mas gamay siya kaysa kay secondary rainbow and also mas 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 klaro yung color kaysa kay secondary plus mas dako si secondary kaysa kay primary and also sa real life picture and now let's talk about super numerary bows these are rainbows bordered by narrow colored bows green violet or orange due to interference of light waves they occur inside the primary bow or on rare occasions outside the secondary rainbow so i have here the picture an example image of a supernumerary bows so kanang makita na to nga gagmay nga murag rainbow sulod sa primary bow mao na siya ang supernumerary bows so gagmay lang siya plus dili kayo siya klaro so mao to ang sa supernumerary bows and now here are some key points to further understand the discussion so halos are light phenomena which are formed when light passes through clouds and strikes the ice crystals in them halos are bright ring which can be colored or just plain white plain white light formed around the sun or moon sand dogs are spots of light formed on either side of the sun or moon which is formed when light strikes the hexagonal ice crystals whose faces are aligned horizontally due to the dispersion of light upon passing through the ice crystals sand dogs can be seen with red color inner edge since red is the least refracted color rainbow is usually after is usually seen after a rain shower and with sun shining primary rainbow is formed when light hits a raindrop refracted and a single refraction happens inside the raindrop secondary rainbow are formed when two inner reflections are done instead of one this causes the reversal of colors in the secondary rainbow in comparison to a primary rainbow supernumerary rainbows are formed when light strikes small raindrops with almost the same size these are bands of green pink and purple color found inside the primary rainbow and that's all for the discussion goodbye